Okay, Megan, two games with Sydney, short and sweet. How was it for you? Yeah, it was really good. It's, I mean, it's amazing to get a win, obviously, in this game. Um, felt like we should have won the last game, had, had a lot more chances. Uh, that's football, though. So, obviously, good to get the win and good to score a goal. Uh, gave one up earlier on the pen. Um, which probably wasn't a pin. Uh, she's a little questionable today, but uh, obviously to get one back and to score um, is it, a pretty good feeling. Uh, leaving here, unfortunately, I have to go. Just a, a sad kind of thing for me, but that's all right. Yeah, it felt like. Here. Yeah, I mean, it felt like you had a goal coming both yeah. games, really. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I know that free kick. I was like, oh yeah, that's a good one, and then I'm. Oh, I hit the post. Hit the so, post. Yeah. So only only two games. I mean, will we see you back in Sydney again? Do you think uh, in the future? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I would I would love to come back and play um, after the Olympics. I think things will, will quiet down a little bit for us domestically. So hopefully I get the chance to, to play a full season, and um, I don't think it'll be anywhere but Sydney. Excellent. We like to hear that uh, as a Sydney fan. Yeah. Very happy. Um, I guess I have a question for you, Magic Jack. What yeah. the hell? Yeah, what the hell, Magic Jack? Um, if ever there was a way that it was going to fold, that, that is the way. That's pretty typical of Magic Jack. Um, I don't know much about it. I actually found it on Twitter. Um, best, best source of information ever. Um, yeah, just the league uh, terminated the team. Um, I know he's, he's quite a fiery character, our owner, um, and I'm sure that had you know, something to do with it. But it's unfortunate because you know, we do need investors, and he's a billionaire. So, and he has a passion uh, for soccer, not only, but for women's soccer. So it's unfortunate that we couldn't, you know, come to an agreement in some way or another. But yeah, looking for expansion and uh, I'm a free agent, so I got the, the run of the pick. So I can go anywhere. Cool. And I mean, I guess I wanted to ask you a little bit about the promotion of the women's game in Australia compared to the States. Um, what is it that you think that we could do here better um, to kind of get up to the numbers? I mean, you guys sold out your uh, friendly match, I think Sweden mm -hmm. is it? 10,000 people? Yep. Amazing. Yep. You know, yeah. what do we need to do to get to that point? Uh, oh, jeez. Um, you know, I think there's a lot more funding that we have, um, you know, to get it out there in our league uh, as well as the national team. So that's, you know, that's something you can't necessarily do on your own. Um, but just to grow the interest, I think the league, you know, I've seen the league for the last couple of years here, and I think it is getting better for sure. Um, there's definitely, you know, more top players um, and internationals as well. So I think just getting people to the games, um, you know, Twitter, Facebook, everything like that, it's, it's such a revolution now that, you know, the girls can put it out there uh, and hopefully get, get more people to come. Maybe, you know, try to piggyback on the men's as well because they've done pretty well with attendance so far. So. Fantastic. Thank you so much, cool. Megan. Thank you. Cheers.